What up guys, it's your boy Ike, AKA the Wizard of Kicks, and today I'm with Angela's brand, and we're bringing you guys an amazing customization, where we're gonna take these regular Jordan 1 Gatorade orange peels and turn them into something based upon one of my favorite ice creams of all time, the Creamsicle Ones. To get started, this is gonna be a very, very fun and simple customization. What we're gonna start off with is we're gonna be using some Angelus Deglazer. And normally you would use this to go ahead and take the factory finish off of the leather. But today we're gonna to use it in a different way to kind of uh, make the shoe have a more vintage look to it. The first step with any customization is we wanna go ahead and make sure that we are taping off any sections of the shoe where we don't want paint on. All right guys, we're all taped up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin the deep glazing process. Let's get started. Guys, in the deep glazing process, it's very important that you squeeze out any remaining deglazer out of there, because if you don't, what's gonna happen, it's gonna kind of pool in one specific area. You can already see this orange is already starting to vintage up for us a little bit here. But this really highlights the importance of using that deglazer. So imagine normally trying to paint over that factory finish, you're gonna have a hard time getting that paint to adhere. So like I said, this example just shows the importance of using that deglazer. And if you're working on a white shoe, this is your proof that it actually works. Okay guys, we're done with step one. We have the shoe completely deglazed. Our next step is we're gonna be focusing on this toe box a little bit. What we're gonna be doing is using just a little bit of about 800 grit sandpaper. And we're just gonna go to rough up these corners, rough up the toe box a little bit. So next step is we're gonna jump right into painting. Today, we're gonna be using a simple paint. We're gonna be using Angelus Cream. One of the things that I kind of wanted to highlight is just how light that initial coat is. The first thought normally is, I just have to just throw a lot of paint on here. You want to make sure that you're going with very, very light coats as you're building up multiple layers for the fact that if you don't, what you're going to have is just a solid section of thick paint that's going to crack. I look at all of my customizations as a representation of me. So it's all about taking those extra steps, being very, very patient and to make it look like that was factory and not something that was painted. All right guys, we have our first coat down around the entire shoe. And now at this point, I like to get right into the detail work. To be able to do the detail work, we're gonna use one of the amazing detail brushes by Angelus. This time we're gonna be using a zero round. We got our Jordan Wings logo all painted up, and next we're gonna move right on over to the Nike Air tongue tag. We got the tongue tag all finished. And now we're gonna get back to doing the remaining coats on the toe box and on the quarter panel. Guys, last step in the process, we're gonna go and hit this guy with some matte acrylic finisher. Kind of just take off some of that shine that's left off of the shoe and kind of just give it more of that natural vintage look. All right guys, now we get to the fun part. We get to go ahead and take the tape off and reveal what the product looks like. We'll throw some shoelaces on in this bad boy and we'll be good to go. Now we get to get to the fun part, lacing these bad boys up. So we're gonna be using some luxury leather laces provided to us by our friends over at Lace Lab. That brings us to the conclusion of our project here. We started off with some Gatorade orange peels and now we have some Jordan 1 custom creamsicles is what I call them. Quick shout out to Angela's brand for having me in today. And if you're an up and coming customizer, just someone looking to get into the game, definitely take a look at the website. They make it so easy for you to just jump on in, grab some paint and start painting. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to follow me at The Wizard of Kicks on Instagram and YouTube as well. And I'll see you on the next video.